And last, but certainly not the least, it is time to welcome to the podium a visionary par excellence, a leader who leads by example, an inspiration, a thought-provoking champion. He's also a sports lover who displays undying passion and works tirelessly towards the betterment and the development of sport in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the utmost honor and privilege to welcome to the podium on this momentous occasion, the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Tere Narendra Modi Avargai. Good evening, Chennai. Vanakkam. Namaste. Governor of Tamil Nadu, Sri R. N. Raviji, Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Sri M. K. Stalinji, Ministers and dignitaries, FIDE President Arkady Dvorkovich, all the chess players and teams participating in this tournament, chess lovers from all over the world, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to the 44th Chase Olympiad being held in India. The most prestigious tournament in chase has come to India, the home of chase. This tournament is here at a special time in India's history. This is the year we are marking 75 years of freedom from colonial rule. It is our Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. It is an honor to have you here at such an important time for our country. Friends, I would like to applaud the organizers of this tournament. In a very short period of time, they have made outstanding arrangements. We in India believe in Atithi Devo Bhava, which means a guest is like a god. Thousands of years ago, Sant Tiruvalluvar said, Irun Dombi Ilvad, Vadelam Virun Dombi, Vedan Mai Shedder Portu. It means the whole purpose of earning a living and having a home is to be hospitable. We will make every effort to make you feel comfortable. We will help you bring your best game to the board. Friends, the 44th Chase Olympiad had been a tournament of many firsts and records. This is the first time the Chase Olympiad is being held in the place of origin of Chase of India. 
it is coming to Asia for the first time in three decades. It had the highest ever number of countries participating. It had the highest ever number of teams participating. It had the highest number of entries in the women's section. The first ever torch relay of the Chase Olympiad started this time. This Chase Olympiad will be in memories forever. Friends, since it is 75 years of our freedom, the torch relay for the Chase Olympiad, iconic locations, Travel 7 to 75. It's over 27,000 kilometer journey has ignited the minds of youngsters and motivated them to take up chase. It is also a matter of pride that a torch relay for the chase Olympiad will always start from India. On behalf of every Indian, I extend my thanks to FIDE for this gesture. Friends, the place at which this Chess Olympiad is happening is most fitting. There are many temples in Tamil Nadu with the beautiful sculptures that represent different sports. Sport has always been considered divine in our culture. In fact, in Tamil Nadu, you will find the temple of Chaturang Vallavanathar. This temple at Thirupunur has an interesting story related to chess. Even God played a game of chess with a princess. Naturally, Tamil Nadu has a strong historical connection with chess. This is why it is a chess powerhouse for India. It has produced many of India's chess grandmasters. It is home to the finest minds, vibrant culture, and the oldest language in the world, Tamil. I hope you get the opportunity to discover Chennai, Mahabalipuram, and nearby areas. Friends, sports is beautiful because it has inherent power to unite. Sport brings people and societies closer. Sport nurtures a spirit of teamwork. Two years ago, the world began to fight the biggest pandemic seen in the century. For a long time, life came to stand still. In such times, it was various sports tournaments which brought the world together. Each tournament gave the important message we are stronger when together. We are better when together. I am seeing the same spirit here. The post-COVID period had made us realize the importance of fitness and wellness, both physical and mental. That is why it is important to encourage sporting talent 
and invest in sporting infrastructure. Friends, I am glad to share that there has never been a better time for sports in India than the present. India had its best ever performances in the Olympics, Paralympics and Deaf Olympics. We achieved glory even sports where we had not won earlier. Today, sport is seen as a great profession of choice. India's sporting culture is becoming stronger. Due to the perfect mix of two important factors, energy of youth and enabling environment. Our talented youngsters, especially from small towns and villages, are bringing glory. It is heartening to see women at the lead of India's sport revolution. The administrative, frame, the administrative framework, incentive structures, and infrastructures have been revolutionized. Friends, today is a good day for international sports. We have the 44th Chase Olympiad starting here in India. In the UK, the 22nd Commonwealth Games will begin today. Thousands of athletes from Many parts of the world are keen to make their nation proud. I wish them all the best. Friends, in sports, there are no losers. There are winners and there are future winners. I wish all the teams and players gathered here, the very best for the 44th Chase Olympiad. I hope you from great India and treasure them in the times to come. India will always welcome you with open arms. All the best. Now, I declare the 44th Chase Olympiad open. May the games begin. Inunu murai arangam nirend kai tatalgar. மாண்புமிகு பாரத பிரதமர் திரு நரேந்திர மோடி அவர்களுக்கு மேடையில் அமர்ந்திருக்கும் அத்தனை விருந்தினர்களுக்கும் எங்களுடைய பணிவான நன்றி வணக்கத்தை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறோம் இந்த ஒரு மேடையை சிறப்பாக்கி அலங்கரிச்சிருக்கீங்க அண்ட் இந்த நாளை ரொம்ப ரொம்ப மெமரபிளா அன்ஃபர்கெட்டபிளா ஆக்கியிருக்கீங்க ரொம்ப நன்றி